Hey, we're on day two of our trek on the Connecticut River. We're here at Waitley Oaks campsite. Uh, hoping to make some big miles today. We do have a headwind, at least a little bit, so that's never helpful. Um, so, how'd we all sleep? Uh, Great, wonderful night. It's not what he said before. Okay, I'm lying. <laughs> <laughs> kind of rough, but it's first night out. Yeah, Mark and I, not so much, but uh, Dean slept well. I slept like a baby. Yeah. I, the only thing that woke me up was the alarm. Funny story yeah. on that one. The first time you snored, I thought there was a bear on the campsite. Well, that's what I do. It's my superpower. I didn't hear you. <laughs> no? It's much better than it used to be. Huh. Cool. About time to get going. This little stream. That was a short walk. Hey, an eagle. So this is known as a Greenland style paddle. This is one I made several years ago. Oh, we're getting shallow. And there are several advantages, disadvantages of this style paddle versus uh, the more standard type of paddle. There are companies that make these, uh, but a lot of people do make their own. And, uh, whittle it out of a uh, red cedar 2x4 uh, hopefully without any knots in it because that won't help the cause as far as strength goes this one's mahogany so it's nice um, looks cool that's for sure uh, but you kind of have to be using it on a warm day because you get wet using this it has no drip rings the water just drips down. There you go. There's a good demonstration. And so, yeah, I have my spray skirt. This is a seal sneak, so it's got a zipper here. So I don't, this is just enough to uh, keep the water from this paddle off me. Blade is long and skinny. There's, there's less blade area overall. Um, so you're probably going to be moving your arms faster, but um, on the other hand, each stroke is less work, and this um, position is also less strain on the wrists. Um, I do have both styles of paddles with me, and so nice to have some variety. It's kind of warm right now, so I don't mind the fact that my uh, lower arms are soaking wet. Um, there's less effect from the wind, if you have a headwind. This is really no good in shallow water because the blade is long and skinny, so if you can only stick your blade in that far, you're not going to get any power. Um, but in terms of overall speed, I guess I've been kind of surprised today and yesterday when I'm using this 
it, it doesn't seem like I'm going any slower in relation to the other guys I'm paddling with. Using the end of the paddle like that is actually more natural that with this style of paddle than it is with a more regular paddle. So you can do this with a regular paddle too. We are around about Northampton. We are at Brunel's Marina, the uh, electric company that runs the uh, hydroelectric dam, um, runs a portage shuttle out of here. The staff here might not know what you're talking about. I'm just saying. So our run to the Holyoke Dam portage uh, was 19 miles with a headwind, so it was kind of weary work. Um, so. We're a little worn out, but fortunately with the uh, portage, we've had a bit of break and we are putting in below Holyoke Dam. The guys are getting ready. The dam's up that way. Can't really see it all that well. But there is a uh, massive canal system here in Holyoke. So this is the last uh, functional dam left on the Connecticut River before you get to Long Island Sound. So that's quite a distance really. Uh, the entire state of Connecticut, a little bit of Massachusetts um, with no dams. So this is at least one more uh, exit from the canals. This is a powerhouse. So this is kind of a combined facility here with um, Jones Ferry Access and uh, Holyoke Rows, which is a local rowing club. And they allow you to camp on their lawn, which is awesome. Hopefully it's not too noisy, but we'll see. And uh, 
if you're within a certain time period where they're open, um, you can take a shower. You heard me right, a shower. Awesome. Got a nice sunset happening somewhere behind the building. Yes, this part of the building has a green roof. So there's plants growing on it. I'm normally camping in a camping hammock. Uh, and I am going to attempt to camp in a camping hammock set up on the ground as a tent. It's kind of low. Um, and even, you know, Crawling under the fly is a bit low, but yeah. You can't find out if you don't try, right? Mark and Dean are setting up their pads on the porch and hoping the bugs don't kill them. 